couple of weeks ago, I made a video telling you guys how you could find playlists in 2021 using some of the same methods that I have been developing over the last couple of months. And within that video, I talked about a tool called Playlist Supply. Since me doing that video, I've had a lot of you reach out to me asking me for deeper opinions on Playlist Supply. Do I like it? Do I really think it's useful? Would I really recommend it to an artist who is trying to add playlisting to their marketing arsenal? And the answer to all those questions is yes. So what I've decided to do is to take this video and do a deep dive review into player supply and let you guys know why exactly I think it's beneficial to the independent artists or the artists in general and why I think it's the next tool you should add to your marketing toolbox. Let's get into it. It's the mat work. <laughs> What's going on? It's your man, Corey, and today's episode is all about a tool called Player Supply. Now, Player Supply is this data scraping tool that's used to find playlists on Spotify. It's a really helpful tool that I've been using for the last, I would say, like five or six months or so. My team likes it. I like it. And it's made a lot of the things that we've had to do around playlisting just super, super simple and super, super easy. So what exactly is Player Supply? Player Supply is this tool that allows you to search through playlists on Spotify using different keywords that you are searching. And if you've been following me for the last couple of years or so, you know that there is a manual method that you can use to find playlists on Spotify, and that is to type in keywords in the platform and then look for playlists that match those keywords. Playlist Supply is pretty much that process done on steroids, you know? So the time that it would take you to do that, Playlist Supply can get it done in probably a fraction of the time. And the owner of it, Benjamin Stein, created the platform in order to, as he puts it, bridge the gap between independent artists and playlist curators and playlist networks. He created it to give the artists a fair advantage within that space and to help them not get finesse as much as he possibly can, which I gotta admit, that's a pretty dope mantra to have behind your company. And even though we don't offer playlisting anymore as an agency, it's something that we haven't done for like the last maybe like three months or so as of me making this video. This tool is still something that I do fairly use whenever we do find ourselves in a client situation where we need to find playlists or whenever I'm helping an artist friend of mine find playlists or whenever we're talking to anybody that's within the network and they're looking for something reliable to find playlists on. Before we get into playlist supply, come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description below. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all of that good stuff. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. First thing that I want to get into is price because I know you want to know how much it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't even care about none of the features if I can't afford it and I feel you. Out the gate, player supply is pretty cheap. It's only $19.99 a month. Compare that to chart metrics, $140 a month or $1,400 a year or submit hub, which makes you pay for credits just to submit the song to the curator. I gotta say, man, that's a pretty that's a pretty good steal. Twenty dollars a month isn't anything. And when I talked to the owner, once again, Benjamin Stein, I had a conversation with him. I asked him like, why is the platform so cheap? You could at least be charging like fifty dollars for this. And the way that he described it to me is that he wants to keep it cheap for the independent artists because once again, he's trying to bridge that gap between artists and players, curators, and make that whole process as transparent and easy as possible. He feels like in order to do that, he has to keep the platform cheap so that way it can truly benefit and help artists. And once again, that's that's pretty far, I can't even lie. As of me making this video, it's $19.99. Now, you know how these tech companies are, man. You know, things start to get popping and prices go up. But based on that conversation, I don't feel like it's going up anytime soon. For it to stick around at $19.99 for the things that you are gonna get out of it, once again, is a pretty good deal. Especially if you're someone that is okay with paying the $140 a month for chart metric, or someone that has spent more than $20 of credits on Submit Hub, and you probably haven't even gotten a tenth of what you would get out of player supply. So just out of price alone, I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. Next thing I wanna get into about player supply is the features. And for this, we gotta get into it. Like I gotta show you what you can do over here. So here we are inside player supply. And as you can see, it's not a complicated looking tool. Like it, it pretty much looks like a really fancy Excel sheet. And out the gate, I'm not gonna lie to you, I already like that about this um, because some of those other platforms can get pretty confusing if you're not used to working around a data analysis tool. So once again, out the gate, big feature of it is just how simple it is to use. And as you can see, the big thing about Playlist Supply is their keyword searching feature, which is pretty much the manual process, which we already know works, but on steroids. So what you can do is you can come here and type in any type of keyword. You can see I was looking for trap rapping Lil Yachty for a client that we were working with a couple of weeks ago. But you can search artist names, you can search genre names, you can search events, you can search games, you can search 
anything and i recommend you search anything and see if there's a playlist that makes sense for um on on spotify that you can find with playlist supply now the other really cool thing about playlist supplies playlist search feature is their criteria function and what you can do with this is you can break down your search based on playlists that have one of these things in their bio so a social a social media link an email an instagram handle a twitter handle and you can also break it down based on playlists that are placing similar artists to each other so what's really powerful about this is that if you've ever done any type of playlist pitching before you know that one the most time consuming part of the process is finding the playlist which we'll get into and then also there is the risk that you could do all this research to find a playlist that you can't even find the curator to like they have like a mickey mouse profile picture and like you just you can't find an email you can't find an instagram handle you can't find anything so with this criteria it makes sure that you're not wasting your energy and your resources digging through playlists that don't even matter to you and that can't even be reached so you could come in here right you could type in if you're a rapper you could type in hip-hop and then you could search it out just based on playlists that have an email in the bio let's say you're an email person or once again a social media link if you are the dm type of person whatever works for you you can make it work here and then you just click search and that's literally it it goes through and it finds a playlist for you now on average this tends to take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how many playlists match the search criteria that you put in but that is massive amounts of time say compared to how much it would take you if you did this process manually and when it's going on i can go set up my ads i can go look at some other stuff i have going on i can go make me something to eat i can do everything but be digging through spotify looking for playlists now while they're searching another thing that i do want to talk about is the fact that they also let you export these playlists outside of the platform i know submit hub doesn't so the fact that they let you build up your own excel sheet or your own pdf sheet that you can share with your marketing team you can share with your distribution company you can share with your manager or whoever's helping you and say hey here's a list of playlists i think would match me because of all these different criteria i searched go and use it go and do something with it which is which is pretty dope if you ask me it also allows you to build up your pricing network off platform pretty quickly because you can just build up multiple excel sheets that match different search criteria maybe you have one excel sheet for each keyword that you've been searching and looking for and you can just set those up pretty easily you download it export it and then you're good to go that was also one of the things that i asked ben about when talking about player supply like i literally asked him like yo what's stopping an artist from just paying 20 dollars one time building up this massive playlist list and then just never coming back and using playlist supply again and he basically was like that's something that they prepare for and they don't mind you know what i'm saying because they know who their demo is i know that most of you artists aren't don't need to pay 20 dollars a month for something like this so it's meant more so to be something that's here for when you do need it rather than something that forces you to use it month over month if you don't really need to be doing it so i think that's a lot better than paying for something like chart metric for most of you if you're an artist that's only been using chart metric to find playlists you know what i'm saying then you're paying 140 dollars to do something at a, a slightly subpar level when you could be paying 20 dollars for something that does what that does much more efficiently you know what i'm saying so you save money and you get it done faster you know what i'm saying it's not like a win-win to me and once it's done searching it pretty much looks something like this so you can see the name of the playlist over here on the left side how many followers it has how many tracks on the playlist who owns the playlist and then here is that email right all of these playlists have an email attached to them which was my search criteria for this and it also has a description of the playlist uh that's already been set here and then once you're done you can just come over here click csv click excel click pdf and then export this list and then transfer it over to wherever you keep your team's documents and all your stuff like this and then that's pretty much it that's player supply in a nutshell so these features are probably the things that i'm the most excited about when it comes to player supply is the fact that you can find playlists based on if they have a social media handle or not if they have their email in the description if they're linked to an instagram or twitter if they're placing similar artists so that way you can keep placing yourself in playlists around similar artists to you and get to hacking the spotify algorithm the fact that you can search through playlists based on different keywords you know genres artists games movies things that you think may make sense for your genre that could have a playlist built around it you can search all that within playlist supply and it's much much faster than most of the other tools and a lot cheaper once again when you break things down by the number so there it is that's pretty much player supply like i said it's been one of my go-to arsenals in my marketing toolbox for like the last five or six months or so whenever i find myself in a situation where i need to find playlists whether that be for a client or friend or someone in the network or, or a personal project or something like that i use it my team uses it and we all like it for the most part if you're an artist that's ever 
pay for a playlisting list. If you've ever paid a playlist picture, hundreds of dollars to put you on playlist and this tool is for you you know i've said it time and time again and i'll say it again and again and again and again playlisting is not hard it is extremely easy if you are willing to put the time in to find these playlists you could build up a playlist curator network that is no different than what any of these independent playlist curators or pitchers are pitching to you you know the playlisting world is small and if you do the due diligence you'll find the exact same playlist they're using trust me like trust me very 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 small world once you get into playlisting so if you're willing to spend twenty dollars and then take 15 or 30 or 45 minutes to build out a massive playlist list of curators using a tool like player supply then you could very easily save yourself hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars over time and i think that that's the biggest benefit of this tool it's not necessarily like the work that it can do for you you know which is great and all like i like shit being done for me but the money that it can save you if you're willing to learn how to use it the right way is amazing you know what i'm saying because any 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 real playlist pitcher is going to charge you a couple hundred dollars but once again if you have the time you can find all the players they're using like trust me like a good month two months you know what i'm saying of digging through the platform you got it you don't even need those guys anymore if you are interested in player supply there will be a link in the description below go and check that out sign up if you feel like it's something that will make sense for you and your team and once again, if you're paying people for playlist lists or paying playlist pictures, just go down there and click that link. Go use it. I'm also curious to see what you guys think for those of you who are using Playlist Supply already. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you love it? Why do you love it? Are you using something else? And if so, what is that something else? Let us know in the comment section below. Other than that, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.